set up the stand in this case. I'll show you where it goes and how it goes. But I know most of you won't use it and the stand seems really flimsy. So even if you guys are thinking about using the stand, I, I just wouldn't. <laughs> um, just wouldn't. <laughs> Anyways, we're not a good control screen. Okay, so with this TV, everything's in the back. Basically, that's what I have to show you. Um, later on, we'll see the screen quality and all that stuff. But that's going to be in our review. This is just an unboxing. Down here below, we just see Two HDMI's, alright, so you have HDMI 1 and 2, plus you have everything else that most of you will not use. Um, on the side, you're gonna see other HDMI ports, so you have HDMI 3 and 4, alright, there's for your TV, plus USB, okay, and VGA. Right. You also have PC audio, uh, PIP, just focus that in for you guys. Okay, so that's what we got on the side, and that's not all we got. So if you go right here, we're going to see this. Okay, so that's on this side. So here's the power button source, menu, channel, volume, which you always need, it's so usually at the bottom of the TV or on the side, okay, in this case it's on the side, we have our power cable, so you have to understand that these TVs never come with HDMI cables or anything like that, all you get is this, the power cable that's attached to it, it's a standard US plug, or if you're in Canada, same thing, um, when you guys set this up with uh, on your wall, this is what you're gonna be looking for. Okay, so get something that's 455 inch. Look at the weight. However, this doesn't weigh that much, so I wouldn't really worry about that. Um, but obviously, it's something that you guys will need a 55 inch to be compatible with this because the TV itself is 55 inch. So See? And that's all for this TV. I'm gonna just go around it, but again, it's just a black screen that you guys are gonna see. So there's not much to see. Him. A black screen that you guys are gonna see. So there's not much. You guys can see RCA down there. Um, here it's gonna tell you a bit of info. That's it. I mean, can't really show you more. Here on the side, you guys can see how thin it is. So it's not thick at all. See, it's about a centimeter or so. And then you have this back part, which is obviously thicker. 
but it's not bad, not bad at all for thickness wise. Okay. Anyways, um, that's all I'm gonna show you for this TV. It's RCA. It should be good. I'm gonna test it out, and I'll be doing a review in a couple months to give you guys a full review of this, if this is worth it or not. If you have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe. See you at Switch Fighter. It's too fine. It's lit.